life cycles of frog and butterfly are very very interesting. Let's check them out. Let's start with the life cycle of frog. Sometime in the monsoon, the female frog lays hundreds of eggs and the male frog fertilizes them. The female frog chooses a corner in the pond. The egg is a spherical in shape and has a small black dot in the middle. This black dot will then hatch into a tadpole. Actually, the egg spawns are very very slimy. To, to demonstrate it, I soak some chia seeds in water and these actually look like frog egg spawn. You, can you see this, um, the spheres in the middle and also it feels so slimy to me. This is very very slimy. Not all eggs make it up to the adult stage. Some eggs are eaten up by predators. After some weeks, these eggs turn into tadpole. Tadpoles do not resemble an adult frog. In fact, they look like a fish. They have gills and tail to swim. Gills help them to breathe in water. These are the gills and this is the tail. Newly born tadpoles do not have limbs. They feed on algae which is present in the pond. Slowly the, the tails get stronger and they develop a pair of hind legs. As now they can swim uh, to the surface of the water, the gills start disappearing. Fun fact, the gills of a fish from inside look like a page, the pages of a book. After a few weeks of development, the tadpole gets to a, another, another pair of limbs. The tail becomes shorter and the lungs start developing. This stage is called froglet. Look, it has four limbs and it has a tail which is about to disappear. Now, the froglet gradually comes out of the water. It transforms its life from water to land. After a few weeks, the froglet becomes an adult frog. So, there are four stages of development in the frog's life cycle. Eggs, tadpole, froglet, and adult frog. Though the frog undergoes many changes during its development, the line of symmetry is always preserved in each stage. Now let's see what's happening in the life of the butterfly. At some time in the spring, a female butterfly lays tiny spherical or cylindrical eggs on a leaf. The plant on which the butterfly lays eggs is carefully chosen by the mother butterfly because she knows that the tiny caterpillars will need a lot of food as soon as it hatches. When the egg hatches, a tiny caterpillar comes out and eats the egg itself. Then it starts eating the leaves and, and becomes bigger and bigger in size. Not all eggs or caterpillars make it up to their adulthood. Many predators are waiting to eat them up. But the caterpillar has a mechanism of camouflaging into the leaves. It keeps on munching leaves until it becomes very very fat. It keeps
keeps on munching for days and nights until it grows bigger and bigger. It sheds its skins four to five times before it's fully grown. This process is called molting. After the last time it molts, its skin becomes harder. It gets covered in a case called pupa. Inside the pupa, the body of the caterpillar goes through many changes called metamorphosis. When it is fully maturized, the pupa gets dried and the adult butterfly breaks out of the pupa. Many butterflies hibernate into the pupa to save themselves from the harsh weather. Some butterflies also migrate to long distances to lay eggs and reproduce. So, there are four stages of development in the butterfly's life cycle. Eggs, caterpillar, pupa and adult butterfly. Although the butterfly goes through many changes in its development, the line of symmetry is preserved. Now let's see the differences and similarities between the life cycle of frog and butterfly. A frog is an amphibian and a butterfly is an insect. Both need two parents to reproduce. Both start their life cycle from egg. But a butterfly lays eggs on a leaf and a frog lays eggs in a pond. Both have four stages of development. Frog lives approximately for a year or two, whereas butterfly lives for two months or a year. Most species of frogs lay egg in monsoon. Most species of butterfly lay egg in springs. Both tadpole and caterpillar do not look like their adult stage. They undergo metamorphosis. Butterfly undergoes molting, uh, which, which helps it to make its body bigger and it's not seen in the frog's life cycle. Both tadpole and caterpillar feed on plant matter, but the adult frog feeds on insects and the adult butterfly feeds on nectar. Frog starts its life cycle from the water and then goes to the land. Whereas the butterfly um, starts its life on the land and continues on there. A tadpole breeds with gills but and then goes uh, develops lungs. But the the caterpillar and butterfly both breathe with spiracles. In harsh weathers, some species of the butterfly and frog both hibernate. Some species of butterfly also migrate. Wasn't that interesting? What I learned from the life cycles of butterfly and frog is you have to change to grow. To make my project more sustainable, I restricted the use of plastic and instead used things like bamboo, pencil shavings, drumstick wheels and paper. Hope you enjoyed the tour to my garden. Thank you.